Yep. This is Joy Wolfgang von Frankenstein, and you are watching So Fucking Cool. All right, so we can cool it here with Joy. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. Ramsey, how you doing? Good, good. Last day of the tour, huh? It's the last day. Looking forward to a little downtime? Um, I got a few things I got to do. <laughs> right, right. Keep it busy, I understand. Um, Monster Man Records. Right. You got three acts besides yourself. Yes. That's got to be a challenging thing to run your own label. Well, I have other people running it. I play guitar. <laughs> Do you help out in any way? you think about the bands or you have any... I haven't yet, so... Now, your new release just came out and it is burning up the charts. Rob's burning on. it up. <laughs> Rob's on the other day, just even posted, go ahead and take a look, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's got to be pretty cool. It is, I sent him a download. <laughs> you know, I wanted him to hear, I sent all those guys more. Now, you are actually keeping quite busy. You have a movie coming out. Right. And it's Mental Patients' last hurrah of the psychiatric ward. Four new girls come in, and the patients kind of... You know more about it than I do. What else happens? You're the Duke, so... The Duke. <laughs> After this... Um, I know you go back on the road in October. October, we're doing the States, another run in the States, and I believe we're hopefully booking overseas in any direction. Finally. You just came back, too. You were just over there. We did Europe, but the album wasn't out yet, so go back. Any chance of more Misfit shows? I'm sure there is a chance. I mean, do you feel kind of caught up in the middle of everything? I mean, Jerry's your brother. Right. You play with Danzig. Right. Middle. Uh, I, I want to do it. I want to do it. I'd like to make a, a studio record, a live record, a DVD. I'd like to play every fucking city in the world. And uh, I'm ready to do that right now. Now what's holding it back? Nothing. I think Dick just announced yesterday his tour. He's only doing a month in September. It looks like they're, you guys talk at all? Are you guys close? Or? I haven't seen it. I don't, I don't know. He just had his own Blackest the Black Festival. Right. You think Misfits would have been the headliner for that kind of thing right there? Well, it's dancing is Blackest the Black. I understand, but, I mean, you guys, you know, for the two-day festival, that what it was. Well, who's going to pay us, then? Uh, that's... <laughs> going to pay himself? I get for yourself. I don't think so. Yeah. Um, who was watching The Crimson Ghost and decided... Um, I don't know if, if uh, Glenn came up with it, but it, um, took it out of a Monster magazine. I don't know if he actually watched it. I watched it years later, and I was like, that's our guy. He gets all this shit, and then a dog gets him at the end. That's our guy. I was a little embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> we got to admit, it is one of the most famous logos that are out there. The fan of it. Sure it's, is. It's everywhere. I mean, fucking kids buy the shirt, and they don't even know what the band is these days. That's right. I mean, I'm sure you guys can just live off of merchandise alone up or something I'm like that. sure they could, yeah. Now, were you, did you get invited to play the Black is the Black and Out? Did call out to you, or? So it's not, nothing like that at all. It's just whenever he gives you a call, sometimes you do some stuff with him. You mean the Danzig Doyle stuff? Yeah. Um, I stopped doing that so we could be best friends. Last time he was in town, jumped up on stage and Here? Went. you were in the rapids that was uh never <laughs> a year and a half ago uh, danzig uh butcher babies no that was, GHC. that was like at least three years ago a little, little while back maybe four four years ago that was, it was awesome when you came out though that's for, yeah that's for sure so it's got to be rough then to be in a predicament where they guys could be doing huge things together. It's, do you have any, like, what do you, what do you do in a situation like that? Do you push? Do you lean back and wait to see what goes on? That's a good question. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'll say it again. I want to do it. I'm ready. Fuck, you know. It's pretty stupid about to. But yeah, 100%. Uh, you know. You talk to Jerry at all still? A lot? Sure. He's on board 100% for sure as well. Um, I can't speak for anybody. Speak for yourself? I'll speak for me. And I 
to say yes. It's getting a little bit frustrating towards the end where, I mean, people have got to be bringing it up quite a bit now. I mean, the reunion came along, everyone's like, holy shit, three shows, and now I'm sure you've got, got your own uh, thing going on, you've got your own label, you got your own tour, you've got your own album, but yet it's always going to be, you know, what's up, man, what's more Misfits, what's this or that? Is that a bad thing? Not in the least bit, though, I'm just saying, you know. It's not frustrating, I don't get frustrated. What do you think about Gene Simmons? And the, uh... Um, Dio's grandmother came up with that. Uh, and, I mean, it fucking makes you think you can just trademark it. Oh, he trademarked it. Yeah, he put the trademark out for it, yeah. But he does it wrong. He does it like this with his thumb out. That's what his, that's what his, let's say. That's his, tra that's his trademark like yeah. that? Yeah, uh -huh. well, it goes like this. This is the good one. This is not the good one. Yeah, his, uh... When everyone started complaining and saying, you know, that was Dio's thing and this and that, he came back with, it's a homage to Spider-Man, because Spider-Man does this, and he reads comic books, and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you are a very hard read sometimes, you know? A hard read? Yeah, for sure. Why? What am I doing? I'm just saying. I'm I mean, just sitting here. I understand you're just sitting here, man. You know, it's just... Do you get tired of these interviews? Um, if the questions suck or if there is no question and they just want me to talk, I want questions. Right. Yeah, uh, ask me, can you talk about this? The answer is no. Yeah, well, ask me about the question and I'll answer it. <laughs> All right, I got it. I get what you're saying there. It's kind of a little off putting because you have a little bit of things in your mind of what you want to say and then when you get there, it's just uh, ah, That's you. That's you. You're. You're the one. <laughs> I'm fucking waiting for the question. Now, tell me about playing overseas. Better than here. A million times, what you say. A million. Just because... I don't care which fucking direction you go overseas, is better. Because the fan reaction, the bigger venues, the... No, it's the fans. They're real fucking music fans here. Everybody will stand there like this and look at each other. Is this okay to be into this? You know what I mean? And they just want to watch you through their fucking phone. Sometimes they put the fucking light on in your fucking face. That's one thing I got to talk to you about, too. Do, do I go to their work and stick my fucking camera in their face with the light in their face? No. That's going to be the biggest distraction in the world. I mean, you're just having hundreds of kids out there, and then all you see is those fucking little screens that are going well, on. I, I don't mind if they take a quick shot or a little video, but if you need to stand there the whole time, why are you even there? Right. Yeah. 100%. I mean, what are they going to do with it, too? What do you look Nothing. At? You know, I mean, they're going to throw it up on their Facebook or their Instagram Maybe. or fucking, you know what I mean? <laughs> you can hardly see anything that these fucking people shoot. It's not like you're going to sit there and be like, oh, my God, thank God Joe Schmo was there <laughs> fucking recording this little thing so I can go and check myself out. Right. When you play with dance, like, there's no phones allowed whatsoever. No. I mean, every single time I see them, he's actually throwing people out because of... Yeah. Distraction that it brings. Well, I was playing the show and there was a girl right in front and she had her light on in my fucking face. So I grabbed her phone and I fucking threw it down and she was horrified. And then, of course, I do the meet and greet after the show. Right. She comes to the fucking meet and greet and she's like all upset, you know, oh, I love you since I was five. So I made sure I brought my phone out there, put the light on, and I stuck it in her fucking face. I said, do I come to your work and do this to you? That's what you fucking did to me. Yeah, it's definitely got to be a little bit... It's, I can't see what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's got to be the biggest attraction in the world when you're trying to make a stage performance and that's all you get is that shit. Let me ask you this. The makeup. Does it get frustrating to put it on before every show? Before every show? Um, honestly, it feels like all I do is shave and put on makeup. That's what I'm saying, you know? I mean, as soon as I, I got to do it again, I'm like... Fucking do this, and the shortest time is the show. That's the shortest portion of my day. How long does it take to put on everything? Um, I start three hours early um, before showtime. So usually have interviews and more shit. You think about scrapping it ever? Just saying fuck it? No. Um, you know, what about a mask instead? Like, uh, a couple of guys are scrapping the makeup and they're going for a 
mask of what they put on. What, what should I get? Like the Bozo the Clown? No, man. It's, it's almost what you have on now, but just a preset. I don't know. <laughs> Fucking sticker. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any ideas of what you want to play next? More heavier stuff? Like, I mean, I understand the last couple albums are getting a little bit more heavier. Just whatever I write that I like. And that's you just doing the guitar and then you have the singer go ahead and write the lyrics? I um, write the musical composition, which is all arranged song, all the drums, all the bass, all the guitars. And I give it to him and I write out what each part is to me. And I tell him whatever the fuck you want. And I write it out so he doesn't have to sit there and guess what each part is. And, you know, this is like the intro, the verse, the riff, you know, the chorus, whatever. Is free to go this lyrically. Whatever the fuck he wants to do. Has there ever been a time where you're like, ah, nope. Just trust the Jeff 100% or it just fits perfectly. Well, we'll listen to the shit. I'll be honest. Fuck, guy's a genius. It's fucking amazing. Fuck, man, tell him what to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I got him. When you, you need, when you have somebody that does something better than you, you let him do it. Right. Or you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. 100%. That's it. Alright, man. Well, That's it. I appreciate it. All time. this and that, that's it? Well, we can do some more. Sure. Right. I'll give you five more minutes. All right. Let's talk about the physique, man. How much time do you put into that? Um, maybe 45 minutes to an hour a day. Does it get harder when you're on tour? No, we're sponsored by Power Block dumbbells. Okay. They're adjustable dumbbells. They're about the size of a pair of shoes. The set we have, we actually have two sets with us. We got a set of 24s in this drawer over here before we go on stage to get the blood flowing. And then we have a set of 90s inside. They give us the stand and the bench and all that shit. They sent us some overseas to take good care of us and stuff. Very cool, very cool. It's always nice to have a sponsor too. Yeah, it's great, man. All we did was ask and they were like, yeah. And uh, it's the last thing in the trailer. It's the first thing out. Nothing like free shit. <laughs> you know it depends, what it is. Depends on what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it could actually be shit. Yeah, right. Uh, I've seen sometimes on your off schedule you do Comic Cons. Yeah. How do you like doing that? Um, the last one I did I liked a lot. But uh, usually it's, uh depends. If they're good ones, they're good. If they're shit ones, it's just like, fucking shoot. It's gotta be hit and miss too, because sometimes nobody fucking comes. Uh, it depends. It depends. We have a guy now who's gonna get us the right ones and I'm not gonna do the more shitty ones. Now, fan interaction with that shit, man. Does it ever get a little weird? You know what I'm saying? Well, I have social anxiety really badly. And um, I can play to 100,000 people, no fucking problem. You put one or two or 10 or 50 around me, I'm not like that. Right, right. So how do you handle your meet and greets then? Um, I'm supposed to be there. You know what I mean? Right. If there's places I'm supposed to be, so you just bite the bullet and do what you gotta do? Uh, I just do it, man, you know? I just general, generally don't like people. Yeah, well, fuck people suck, man. Yeah, human beings. Let me ask you one final question, then. What's it like being Doyle when the make is off? When you're not playing, you don't like people, you don't like shit, you know that, what I'm saying? Like, that, can, that's my friends and family and girlfriends world. Nobody else is. Perfect. So, uh, social media, you fuck around with that? Uh, Instagram I do. I, uh, I only do my Instagram. I don't do Facebook or anything else. Do you like the shit? I like it? Yeah. I, I try to make mine funny. I mean, yeah. it, it, for someone who's been in the business as long as you, it, it's got to be like different now that you know that you almost have to do it. Uh, you don't have to. If you don't want to. I, just, I do it because, uh, you know, it's funny. Your tag, and people want to follow uh, up more. Doyle WVF. Perfect. And October, we're going to see more dates. Any uh, uh, who you're going to play with? Uh, like no idea. Don't care. <laughs> what about your own label? Do you ever think about doing a show with everybody? Um, Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck those guys. They have to buy on. <laughs> Especially well, dead girls. Little pay to play action. Oh yeah, they're gonna buy on. Perfect. All right, man. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. <laughs> Especially dead girls. <laughs>